Hi, welcome to Guitar Lessons, Fast, Fun, and Easy. Today's lesson is how to play the needle and the damage done by Neil Young. Let's do a close-up. Okay, so we're going to start with the D chord. Now, this is my, again, interpretation of this song. There may be a slight variation here or there uh, compared to the way Neil actually does it. So I start here again with the D chord. We're going to start by picking the open uh, D fourth string. And I do then an upstroke and a downstroke on the D. And then I drop my little finger right here in the uh, first string third fret, which turns this D into a D suspended four, a D sus four. lift the second finger off of the first string uh, so it's open which is a D suspended two upstroke and I'm point that up and then take it right off for the downstroke and then upstroke with this D suspended two and down up down I'm keeping this shape right here. I'm bringing my second finger over to the fifth string third fret. We're playing that note. It's a C. And then an upstroke, downstroke, and then I'm doing this thing again where I'm dropping this little finger in the first string third fret. And moving down to the fifth string second fret doing the same type of rhythm here and now this comes off so I'm on this B note and this D stays here see I'm dropping that in and out move down to the uh, fifth string first fret same little trick here Then we'll switch into a C chord. So I'm picking that C note, the bass note, and doing an upstroke on the chord. And a hammer on. So I'm playing the, the fourth string open and hammering on here. upstroke on the chord too. And then I'm going to the third string open in that C chord. Also doing an upstroke. Bringing this second finger over to the third string second fret upstroke as well. I'm going to put that all together. And then dropping the little finger on the third string third fret. Taking off going back to third string second fret. Every time I pick one of those notes I'm coming with that upstroke. Open, as you see, third string open, and then uh, fourth string second fret. So I'm going to put that all together for the C. Now we go to an a, uh, E suspended four, starting on the third string second fret. This note right here, it's an A. And so again here I'm, I'm, I'm 
constantly. I'm hitting a bass note and then doing an upstroke. Then I'm going to this E, which is a fourth string second fret. And then this B, fifth string second fret. And I'm gonna do a little hammer on pull off there. And end up here on the uh, third string first fret. I'm gonna do that again. You see I'm hammering it on, pulling it off. And ending up right here. And then I'm going to the uh, fourth string second fret. And then again, the fifth string, uh, fifth string second fret. I want to put that all together. And then it's the fifth string open. Because I'm going into the D chord. And back to where we were. Okay, so that's the intro. Comes back to that D then. And uh, that's when the vocals start. You know, uh, now the vocals start, and it's going to be a little different. We're doing the again here. We're doing the D. I caught you knocking at my cellar door. I love you, baby. Can I have some more? C and I'm doing this C bass note and that upstroke and then I'm doing this little muting thing where I'm just letting my fingers kind of drop down here and everything is muted kind of just roll down into that so I'm going Takes some getting used to, uh, but it, it, it's you know it's nice. It adds a nice uh, beat. So uh, something good to learn. All right. So after that C, we're going to an F. Um, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm hitting the F bass note right here and upstroke, and then I'm just letting all the pressure off and not squeezing. So everything's muted again. The damage, and then we're going into the uh, E suspended four. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. And then to an E. Chord, same thing, bit that bass note. Upstroke and then that. Now I, I throw in this little run, I don't know if this is exactly what Neil's doing, it's what I do, I like it, it fits, so I'm going to the 5th string 2nd fret and hammer on pull off, pick it open, hammer it on, pull it off, and then I'm going to the 4th string 2nd fret Sliding it up to the fourth uh, string, fourth fret, and then back to the fourth string, second fret, and then fourth string open, and that slide is a legato slide, and we're only picking the first note, this one. When we get to this, we're not picking that one which is a shift slide. Here's a shift slide. I'll pick the, both of them. We don't want that. We just want... So here's that run again. See, it's starting all over because that the last note is the open D. Open fourth string. So we're at that D chord. Starting over. I lost my 
combat, etc. And now it just repeats everything we just did um, until we come to the very end. And the very end is the same as the intro. So in other words, we'll call it the outro. The outro is exactly the same as the intro. There you go. Okay, so this song is a little harder to play. It takes some getting used to doing some of those uh, movements, those motions. Uh, so it takes practice and patience. Be patient with yourself. Uh, don't rush it. One thing that uh, I haven't said a whole lot of so far, but you're going to hear me say a lot of. It's always better to play slow and clean than fast and sloppy. Or it's always better to play slow and correct than fast and wrong. So take your time with this song. Even if it's at a slower tempo, it doesn't matter if you're playing it right. Uh, so good luck with this one, as always. Have fun, though. And thank you so much for being here. Please come back again.